mixologist Bernice. So glad to see ya. I thought I liked Caesar. And then I met Bernice. I thought we stand Caesar. But then we saw Bernice. This is the cutest character coming out of 1.2. That is a fact. Absolute fact. I will fight you on that. Have you seen her Mindscape Cinema Level 3 art? I can't show it in the video because it'll get copyright claimed. But oh, oh this character is so cute. Uh, Bernice is a fire anomaly character. She is the first fire anomaly character. She's not like other girls. Uh, d unlike all of the other anomaly characters, Bernice is not a DPS. Bernice, Bernice, Bernrace. Uh, she's not like other girls. She's an off-field character. She does off. She is an off-field DPS anomaly character. She does not buff your on-fielders at all. She does just do damage, but she applies off-field. Can you believe it? Zenless got a character that applies off-field pyro before Genshin. Uh, I, Zenless has a limited five-star character that applies pyro from off-field every 1.5 seconds before Genshin. <laughs> Bruh. Is Bernice the is Bernice the Shangling of Zenless Zone Zero? Maybe. Uh, how does she apply pyro? Good question. Uh, Bernice gains fuel after using her EX special attack. Her EX special attack has two levels. Uh, the levels you use higher energy to use EX level two or EX two. Her EX one is she pulls out a flamethrower. Her EX two is she pulls out a second flamethrower. That's not a joke, by the way. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's really cool. I fear no man, but that thing. Uh, when you do the EX by holding or pressing twice, she also triggers quick assist. So just like a support character, she triggers quick assist for you to get to your on fielder while she still does damage. Uh, while Bernice has fuel, every 1.5 seconds cooldown, when enemies are hit, they will take fire damage. It, that is equal to 300% of her attack at max core unlock. Her additional ability is fire buildup and burn duration extension. So this is Grace and Rena in one character for burn, and she applies off field. <laughs> Way to just instantly fix all of my complaints about Grace and Rena. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, her additional ability is triggered by any faction member or any anomaly character. Now, it's important to mention that it's any anomaly character, not any fire character, character of the same attribute. Meaning, teams that we can look at with her, we can look at Crisp Rat. That rat is getting crispy, or he's a famous actor. The world, the world may never know. Uh, so we can look at Jane, Bernice, Seth. It does not have to have Lucy, but you could do Jane, Bernice, Lucy, since Bernice activates Jane's pass or core passive. The catch is to use Seth to his full ability, Seth wants to have his additional additional ability active, which requires either a shock or a electric character or a character of the same faction, meaning Jane or Grace. So if you wanted to use Seth with Bernice, you have to use Jane or Grace. But if you were gonna use Lucy, you could very easily replace Jane with the four star option, Piper. Piper Bloom is bad. So you could do Piper, Bernice, Lucy, as well as Jane, Bernice, Lucy, Jane, Bernice, Seth, Grace, Bernice, Seth. These are the teams that I am primarily looking at. Something else I will mention is because Bernice is an off-field damage dealer, we can use her to supplement a character who doesn't do that much damage, like Soldier 11K damage. So I am looking at, so also considering Soldier 11, Bernice with Lucy, Chingy, and or Kaleida. We will have to see how that goes. That's maybe a little more cope, but it is definitely worth talking about. Uh, gearing options. Let's quickly brush over those. So her gearing options, she actually should have a lot of them. Uh, because Bernice's EX special is a multi-hit and continuously consumes energy, you should be able to use Roaring Ride on her, which is the Piper engine. The significant thing about Roaring Ride is that it has buildup, which is something none of the other A-rank anomaly engines have. That may be significant, it may not be. We'll have to wait and see on that. We also have to wait and see if she can even use Roaring Ride, but it definitely seems like an option. Uh, the other A-rank 
weapon that we were looking at is the dino head that I don't actually remember the name of. I just know it's a funny looking dino head. Uh, and Or her S rank engine, anomaly proficiency main stat. Uh, when off field, the wearer's automatic energy recovery increases by 0.6 per second. When you use your enhanced, or when a EX special hits the enemy, the damage is increased by 3.6% 10 times, lasting six seconds, can be triggered at most within 0.3 seconds. The duration is refreshed when triggered repeatedly. It's 36 damage percent. It's energy. It's anomaly proficiency. It's pretty good. We'll have to wait and see how significant the energy is. Uh, if the energy is significant, it may pose a problem comparing some of the A rank engines. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, she also is releasing with a new drive set. Her new drive set is 30 anomaly proficiency on the two piece. The four piece gives 15 fire bonus and another 25 damage percent while off field. Technically, this has a linger effect, so it's not, so the buff doesn't disappear as soon as you switch her in to use her EX special. But yes, it's damage percent wall off field, which is super synergistic for Bernice's kit. The obvious downside about Bernice's drive set is that, well, you're only ever going to use this on one character. You're only ever going to use this on Bernice, which is an interesting choice. It's nice that it's two piece and only proficiency, at least. And it's nice that it's paired with what I assume is about to be one of the best sets in the game, the Caesar set. Check out the Caesar pre-release, or Caesar Day One TC impression video if you want to know more about that. But TLDR, it's it's very 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 good. Let's actually talk about Bernice's damage. The damage of Bernice's burn procs. We're looking at 10 to 15k per burn hit outside of stun. 17 to 20k, maybe 21k in stun. Now burn with Bernice's additional ability active, has a duration of 13 seconds, meaning it can hit 26 times in total. You are pretty unlikely to get the full 26 hits, but it can happen, and that is the maximum amount of damage. It is primarily worth mentioning because of the cash out effect from triggering disorder, because a lot of the teams that we're looking at for Bernice do trigger disorder, which also ties in with the trigger for her additional ability. It, it, you see how this fits together? I'm making sense, right? I'm not crazy, I swear. Shut up, voice over there. Uh, if you do just look at Bernice's own damage, it may be awkward to get Seth's anomaly proficiency on her, or Seth's anomaly proficiency buff on her. Uh, if anyone's unfamiliar, because Seth is a very new character, he's not even out yet, uh, Seth is a anomaly support defense character who is also a stun character and also a support. Uh, he does a lot of things. He wears a lot of hats. He's very good on anomaly teams. Basically, Jane's teams are Jane, Seth, and whatever bozo you want. So yeah, Seth is a very good character. He provides an anomaly proficiency buff for characters that gain his shield. He can apply this every 10 seconds, but the catch is it has to be a character that he either quick assists to or chain attacks to. The only way, if you're playing Seth, Jane, Bernice, the only way to get the buff on Bernice is to chain attack. So you have to have someone besides Seth trigger the stun and then chain attack with Seth and then chain attack with Bernice and then chain attack you chain attack with Jane or do damage with Jane because you can also use Bernice to as your end of the chain attack because she triggers quick assist you also want Jane or you also want Bernice to touch the field to trigger her fire so if you don't know anomaly cannot be triggered off field anomaly can only be triggered on field so while Bernice builds up fire anomaly off field she still has to come on field to proc it and activate it so you do always want to give her field time, I believe once every stun state at minimum, and possibly even once every outside of stun as well. So you can trigger the fire and get your disorder damage. Because otherwise you're building up a lot of anomaly, but never activating it. Uh, but yeah, if you so there is that possible difficulty or snag with Seth synergy. The alternative to Seth seems to be Lucy. Lucy is an attack buffer. Lucy also does assist with daze buildup because her piggies do daze. Uh, because all of Bernice's damage is EX special, it should activate Lucy's M6 if you have it, which gives you a bunch of extra buff up time from Lucy, which is really cool. Hopefully Lucy and Piper are on her banner. If Lucy and Piper are on Bernice's banner, you have a full team on one banner.
That's really, really valuable. I don't know about valuable. That's really useful, especially right now. It's really useful, and I hope that is the case. Uh, either way, Caesar, it, the entire update is Sons of Calidon themed, so Piper and Lucy will see their way onto the banner, or onto the banners. They may not both be on one banner, they may be spread out. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, Lucy has very good cons, Piper has very good cons. Uh, getting cons on both out of the box with Bernice would be great. Uh, as a, the reason I was really talking about Lucy, though, is that Lucy's attack buff and Roaring Ride's attack buff are technically more proficient for Bernice's burn damage than Seth's anomaly proficiency buff, with the caveat of that not considering the daze buildup and the 20% resistance debuff. Okay, 20% buildup resistance debuff that Seth applies compared to Lucy. But yes, you can absolutely use Lucy with Bernice and you may be better off for it. We'll have to wait and see on that. But one thing is for sure, if you are not using Jane, Seth is probably worse than Lucy because you're not activating that 20% debuff. And there's some difficulties with his buff in general. Cool. Uh, what are my concerns about Bernice? My primary concern is that I think Anomaly is not favorable compared to attack characters. What do I mean by that? The damage that Anomaly characters do if you look, so for reference, when I say this, I'm looking at maximum skill levels, full level, full core, uh, with S rank W engines. So it's not exactly the reality we live in right now, but it's okay to look ahead a bit. Uh, there are rumors 1.2 will introduce the ability to farm boss mats with resin. Can't wait, or weekly boss mats with resin. Can't wait. Awesome. That's gonna be a major difference maker for me. It's gonna let me build so many more characters. But yes, I am looking at like somewhat far out, maybe a month. I could say I am currently there, but I've also been max refreshing since day three. Uh, but yeah, uh, I am worried that Anomaly teams are too far behind GUN Ellen. Uh, one thing that's, I guess, definitely worth mentioning all. So 1.2 is introducing eight new enemies and 1.1 introduced two new enemies. All of these enemies have ice resistance, so your ice characters are 20% less effective against them. Good joke. Everybody laugh. Uh, the anomaly characters should also do more damage than GUN outside of stun. So when enemies stop being stunnable, very big stonks for anomaly characters and Ellen, very not stonks for GUN. The same way enemies having ice resistance is very not stonks for Ellen and very stonks for everyone else. We'll have to wait and see how that falls out, but yes, I wanted to mention it. Uh, there is a major uptick in enemies with ice resistance and a major uptick in enemies with fire and fizz weakness. Yeah, uh, I honest, I think Bernice is very cute. I like this character. I like this character's design a lot. Uh, I like her VA for specifically in JP. It's really cheery. It's kind of, it's fun. It's nice. She's so happy. She's very cute. Uh, Bernie's best girl 1.2. It's a fact. Absolute science, scientifically provable fact. Uh, do I think anything will change with Bernice? Probably not. They might buff her just because they seem to buff characters. Uh, if anything, buff her anomaly app. I don't know. <laughs> Seems good.